Hello. Nuke has this free tool called Hero Player, which is really handy for artists. I'm going to walk you through a typical scenario which you've encountered many times before and how Hero Player makes this workflow so much easier. In this tutorial, you'll see how Hero Player allows you to review your shot in context. We'll compare renders you've done from Nuke, view annotations from a supervisor, and then fire up a sync session with them to work simultaneously on the same timeline. Let's get started. So the scenario is you have three shots that need comp work. You'll be working on one of them and different artists are working on the other two. The soup has sent all three of these shots to you artists and you've done your first pass on the shot. You can use Hero Player to compare versions of the shot that you've done. Click this icon here in Nuke to open a flipbook and select Hero Player from the dropdown. You can make Hero Player the default flipbook player by going to Edit, Preferences, Panels, then the Flipbook Viewer options. Now Nuke renders out the shot and opens Hero Player with that shot ready to go in the Timeline workspace. Let's go to Workspace, Flipbook, so we can see our shot in a large viewer because we don't need the timeline just yet. Let's say you're not happy with the first version, so you do some more work and send a second version to the Flipbook. The first shot should be in the viewer already, so drag and drop the second one on top. Drop it into the B buffer so it brings up a wipe tool for you to compare them side by side. If you want to compare multiple versions of the shot, switch back to the default timeline workspace by going to Workspace, Timeline. Now drag the shots you want to compare from the project bin and put them on separate video tracks on the timeline. Select any track or shot and press 1 to put it into buffer A. Select the other shot to compare and press 2 to send it to buffer B. You can compare as many shots as you want this way. Once you're happy with your work and you've decided on the version, you send it back, but the supervisor gives you some feedback that it's not fitting with the other shots in the sequence. The feedback is in an annotation file in the new version of your Nuke script. It's a bit unclear to you exactly what the supervisor means by these annotations. So let's open up the Nuke Studio project file in Hero Player and view the shot in context. In Hero Player, go to File, Open Project, and then navigate to the HROX file. You'll get this notification that the items on the timeline are all locked. Notice that when you try to select a clip, it highlights blue. That means it's read-only. That's okay because we just need to see the annotation on our shot in the context of the sequence with the other shots. It also makes better sense that the supervisor is the custodian of the edit. Obviously, it could cause problems if every artist was able to modify the timeline. And we don't need to do that. We just need to see our shot in context. You can toggle annotations on or off by clicking on the annotation tool icon here in the top right of the toolbar. Okay, you've made the changes to the comp that you think the soup asked for, but it's still not quite what they wanted. It's not clear what the annotation in the bottom left of the shot is referring to. They suggest you do a sync review session. They'll be in Nuke Studio and you'll be in Hero Player, but you're both looking at the same timeline. In Hero Player, go to Workspace, Sync Session, Connect. Type in the credentials for the supervisor's machine and click Connect. Wherever the soup is pointing, you'll see it with their name on your screen, and vice versa for them. This is why Hero Player is handy, because you're both looking at the same project. So if they move the playhead on the timeline, it will move yours. The supervisor explains that this area of the shot is still too bright. Okay, now you know what they are after. Reopen Nuke and do the work they require. Looks great, and here's the shot in context with the other shots. For more information on Hero Player and all things Nuke, be sure to check out learn.foundry.com. Thanks for watching and happy comping.